Hey everyone, welcome back to the final prediction video for the regular season for the upcoming year. And we are here to do the Metropolitan Division. Uh, this is probably my favorite division. Um, I started with it last year, I figured I'd finish it with it this year. Alright, so you can see the jerseys behind me. So it goes from number one all the way to number eight, kind of in an arching motion. Washington obviously got number first, got first place. Islanders second, Pittsburgh third, Carolina fourth. Columbus 5th, uh, Philly 6th, Rangers 7th, and the New Jersey Devils 8th. So that's how they finished off last year. I did the predictions and I'll show you a picture of how I predicted them to finish from last season. Not terrible, not great. Um, the Islanders were the biggest surprise to me. I thought for sure they were going to be trash and they were great. They were fantastic. Uh, a lot of fun to watch actually as well, which is a Nice change of pace. The biggest kind of disappointment for me was the New Jersey Devils. Uh, after a great playoff run, they, not, I guess they didn't have a great playoff run, they got out in the first round, but after making the playoffs, they had a bit of a disappointment. They got off to such a good start to last year, and then they just fell apart and ended up losing this whole division, so, oh well. Now this division, I uh, kind of like the Pacific Division, is a division that I have an Adidas jersey for every team. Um, Unfortunately, they're not in this video. The Washington one out is out getting Lars Eller's name and number put on the back. And my replacement for that white New York Rangers jersey is on the way and it should be here Wednesday. So I thought about waiting till Wednesday to do this video, but I decided not to. I'll just do it and get it over with now. But yeah, uh, so when the Rangers jersey comes in, I probably won't do an unboxing. It's just the white Adidas version of that. And you guys have already seen the Eller jersey, or the Washington jersey, but I will show you when I get the Eller name put on the back. It should be looking good. But we'll pretty much get right into the predictions, and I honestly have no idea. Um, New Jersey, the Rangers, and Philadelphia all missed the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if it completely flipped and all three of them made, and the three teams on this side missed the playoffs. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect from this division. And I'm excited. Uh, the New Jersey Devils, I think, are the team that I'm most excited to watch this year. Again, I never thought I'd say that in my lifetime, but here we are, and yeah, so honestly, I don't even know where to start. We're going to start, obviously, at number eight and work our way to number one, but I have no idea what to expect, so I'll pretty much just get right into it with number eight. All right, so number eight, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Flyers. They can make the playoffs, and I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, this division is just so weird and so bizarre and so interesting to me. I have no idea what's going to happen, and this has definitely been the hardest one to predict. For this video so they might have finally figured out their goaltending problem in Carter Hart. Uh, we'll see what Claude Giroux is able to do. We'll see if Ghost can bounce back. He had a bit of a down year last year so we'll see how it all happens and unfolds but as of right now I'm gonna take Philly to finish last but if they won the division honestly I wouldn't be too shocked either. So, all right moving on number seven. Number seven I'm taking the Columbus Blue Jackets. I really I hate doing this, but I just don't see them making the playoffs. They, I, It's not really even because Panarin and Bobrovsky left. Well, maybe a little bit Bobrovsky, but not so much Panarin. I think they can replace him. They have some really great players coming in. Alexander Texier, I think, is an unbelievable talent, and I think he'll do really well. Bjorkstrand will take another step forward. I hope Wenberg has, has a bounce-back year. I love Cam Atkinson. I, their forwards are not the issue, and I don't think even really their defense is the issue. It really kind of comes down to the goaltending for me. That's, and I really, really, really like their goalies. Elvis Merzlikens has been one of my favorite goalies since he's been around in the Swiss League. I've been able to watch a few games with him in the Spangler Cup. Like I mentioned earlier with the Flyers, I wouldn't be surprised if they made the playoffs. But, like I said, this one has just been such a hard one to predict, and I hope I'm wrong. I really, like I said, I really like Columbus, and I want to see him in the playoffs. I just don't know if it's going to happen. All right, so at number six, I'm taking the New York Islanders. They had a fantastic year last year after I picked them to finish last. I picked them to finish eighth, and they ended up coming in second in the division. In the division, uh, it was a fantastic year. They had a now they definitely lost Robin Leonard, but they feel like they got a good replacement in Semyon Varlamov. Now that's just kind of a question if he can stay healthy, and if he can, the Islanders can definitely be competitive and definitely make the playoffs again. I've mentioned it before, and I'll mention it again. I have no idea what to expect from this division. I really, this is just me putting on jerseys and talking to a camera, rambling on, because I have no idea what to expect. They could win the division, they could come in eighth, I, I have no idea. 
this division has been revamped. So many teams have done so many things, and I'm really curious and I'm really fascinated. So I'm going to take the Islanders at six. All right, number five, my favorite team, the New York Rangers. I think they'll just miss the playoffs. There's a lot of excitement. Being a Rangers fan, I'm on Rangers pages all the time looking for different things, and I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for this upcoming year. The rebuild has been kind of quick, uh, quicker than I really thought it was going to be. I'm kind of curious to see how it's actually going to turn out. I wasn't a fan. I love Artemi Panarin, don't get me wrong. I really, really like him. I just wasn't a fan of the money that he got. I think he's a little bit overpaid. Prove me wrong and help the Rangers get back to the playoffs and we'll be all good. But yeah, there's just a lot of excitement between uh, Panarin coming in, Capo Caco. I'm really personally looking forward to Leas Anderson. I really hope he takes the next step forward. He had a bit of a, not a great year last year, but he didn't have a terrible year. So I'm really kind of curious to see what happens with him. Uh, Truba, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I wasn't excited that they traded Neil Pionk for him. But we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and hopefully he can get there. Lundqvist seems to be motivated and determined to get himself a Stanley Cup, which I really hope he does. He definitely deserves it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this year. And I don't know if it's going to be enough, but like I said, and other ones... I wouldn't be surprised if they made the playoffs whatsoever, but I wouldn't be surprised if they missed either. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, Rangers, I'm really friggin' excited to see what you guys do this year. All right, so at number four, I have the Pittsburgh Penguins. And I'm not gonna lie, I had them missing the playoffs for the majority of the summer, especially after the Kessel deal. But then the article of Evgeny Malkin coming out and saying how disappointed he was in his own performance and everything and he felt like he let his teammates down, and I found that one just really fascinating, and sounds like he's coming in very motivated. And a motivated Evgeny Malkin is a scary Evgeny Malkin. Uh, I'll say that five times fast. I still have a little bit of questions with Matt Murray. I don't really, ex I don't really like Matt Murray that much. I don't have a lot of faith in him. I know I'm probably kind of in the minority on that one, but I just, if he can stay healthy, sure, who knows? We'll see how it goes. You can't ever doubt Crosby. All right, so it kind of, for me, kind of comes down to some of the newer acquisitions, whether it's Dominic Cahoon, who I really have high hopes for, or maybe Alex Yelchenyuk, to see if he can kind of revitalize his career and get that kind of back on path going. And so it really could be a fun year to watch Pittsburgh. I hope they do well. Now, having said all that, would I be surprised if they missed the playoffs? No, not in the slightest. That's why we end up playing this game. That's why it's so much fun, because we really have no idea what's going to happen, and it'll be very exciting, so... Pittsburgh, I have you at number four. Moving on, number three. Okay, so number three, I'm taking the New Jersey Devils. If you guys don't make the playoffs New Jersey, I'm going to be very disappointed in you guys. Uh, they have definitely rehauled their whole, pretty much their whole team this offseason. Whether it's bringing in someone like P.K. Subban, drafting Jack Hughes, bringing in Nikita Gusev. I'm really, really excited about what this team can do. It sounds like Corey Schneider's coming into camp healthy and motivated, so hopefully they get the goaltending. That's the big concern, I think, for most people. Along with players like uh, Nikita Gusev actually adjusting to the North American style game. Although he's been over here for quite some time. He got in a few practices with Vegas, so he should be climatized to the North American ice by now. Now we'll see what Taylor Hall is able to do with them. If Zajac can stay healthy, he'll be a great addition to the bottom's kind of six. He's a Kind of an older veteran now at this point in his career. He definitely still has some game left in him, though. Blake Coleman's one of my favorite. I'm really kind of hoping Pavel Zaka steps up his game. And we'll see what kind of step forward Nico Heischer is able to take as well. But yeah, New Jersey is... I'm really excited to see what New Jersey does. So I'm taking them to make the playoffs. I'm taking them at number three. So at number two, the Washington Capitals. They are probably an early pick for me to at least consider winning the Stanley Cup. I honestly, I kind of don't think they will, but I'm considering it. So if Washington can stay healthy, they should definitely have no reason not to be in the playoffs. Whether or not they'll go back to back and win the division two years in a row, I'm not sure that'll help or happen. You never know. Uh, stranger things have happened. After losing to the Hurricanes in the playoffs, they should be motivated and definitely have the desire and the will to try to take back their Stanley Cup. We'll see if that actually ends up coming true, but I really expect the Capitals have a fantastic year. So I'm going to take them at number two. 
But moving on, number one. All right, so number one, I'm gonna take the Carolina Hurricanes because that'll make a lot of people mad. And if there's one thing I love, it's annoying people. So Carolina, I'm gonna take them at number one. Now I know traditionally, whenever they make the playoffs, they go on a really nice long playoff drought. So by that standard, they shouldn't make the playoffs up for another 10 years. But there's something a little bit different about this team. They have a belief, they have some fantastic players and just really exciting buzz around the team, uh, which has not always been the case. Sebastian Ajo is freaking out of this world. He's unbelievable. They have him locked up for a little while. Sveshnikov is great. I just, man, they just got a really good team, and I'm really excited to see what they do. But I've said it before, if they bottom out and miss the playoffs and even end up in eighth spot, I won't be surprised really in the slightest. I'll be disappointed, but not surprised. Carolina? Don't disappoint me. You had a fantastic year last year. I might not like your new road jerseys that much, although I still will probably end up getting one at some point if I can. Why would it, Why was it so hard to try to go back to something looking like this? Man, it's just such a nice looking jersey. I absolutely love it. But that's beside the point I'm getting off topic. Carolina, don't disappoint me. Finish first and we'll prove everyone wrong. Go and win the Stanley Cup. Alright guys, that wraps up the prediction videos here. I will be doing one more prediction video, kind of the major awards, whether it's, you know, the Norris, the Calder, uh, the Vesna, Art Ross, Ted Lindsay, you name it, Stanley Cup will be in there as well. Um, so I'm going to do that probably on Wednesday, I'll film it. I'll probably release these on Wednesday, but I'll probably film the other ones on Wednesday as well. I tell you, I'm so excited for the new season. Hockey, to me, is the best sport in the world, and I'm just thrilled to have the NHL back. I've been watching some KHL as much as I can and some of the Champions Leagues. So now I have been able to kind of get my hockey fix for the last couple weeks, but the NHL will be back and that's what we're all really excited for. Now these videos, these rankings, or sorry, these prediction videos are always so hard to do because of the parody and how close things are in the NHL, which is one of the reasons the NHL is, a, not the NHL, just hockey in general is the best sport in the league. There's just such a competitive nature about it and it's just fantastic. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to the new season as well. Let me know your guys' predictions, who's going to make the playoffs, who's going to miss. Kind of curious to see what you guys think. Now, please don't take my predictions serious at all. I'm just some doofus in the basement waiting for his girlfriend to get home from work. Doing this out of sheer boredom. So, like I said, don't take it seriously. Just have some fun with it, and we'll see you guys again in the next video. If you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description as always. But if not, I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.